ladies and gentlemen, to the 37th episode of Thursday Night Thunder. 16 of the baddest monster trucks are going to turn it loose for you fans right here tonight. Maximum Destruction looking to defend that flag with success as he claimed his fifth victory last week. Now we're going to take you back to last week here. He took out UFO in the final round. What a race for the finish line. Maximum Destruction came out on top, taking home his fifth victory. Also, Team Gravedigger trying to chase down Max D in the semifinal round. Rocked up and rolled over. Did some pretty heavy damage to the truck. They got it back to 100% right here tonight. They're looking to come out on top as well. Well, kicking off round number one here on Thursday Night Thunder, El Toro Loco, the outlaw, Joshua Wells, brings that truck to the start line. He draws up against Brandon Jager and Zombie out of Zombie Land, South Dakota. Both trucks are staged as we wait for green. There's the green light, they're dead even down the straight, up and over the cars, and we don't know who got the win right there as they cross the finish line. We're gonna go back and take a look at the MTA replay. You see some sick air out of El Toro Loco right here, flying high, and who gets across the finish line first? It looks like Zombie will put El Toro Loco on the trailer, and there you see it, what a close race. Coming up next here in round number one, Josh Brainerd brings the snake bite forward to the starting line. He had a hard rollover last week, did some heavy body damage, but he draws up against another Ford, the Hot Wheels machine, driven by Chad Legit. He's looking to get a championship victory here tonight, but so Snakebite. Stage now as we go green. Two Fords down the straight stretch, up and over the cars, and Chad Legit in the Hot Wheels machine sends Snakebite back to Missouri. Well, coming up next here in round one, Megan Jagger and Whiplash, a two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. She draws up against the wild man, Ryan Johnson and Taz, who took a wild crash last week. He's out here making a name for himself. Boat trucks are staged now as we go green. Down the straight, Taz has a lead on her up and over the cars, and Taz will take it to round number two. Whiplash is going home. Well, coming up next here in round one, James Valencourt brings the UFO forward to the starting line. Made it to the finals last week, but lost out to maximum destruction. He draws up against Ashley Obi and Jurassic Attack. Staged now as we go green. Down the straight, they're looking even up and over the cars, and Jurassic Attack turns it over. We don't know who got the win. We're going back to an MTA replay. You see UFO getting bottled up down that straight stretch. Boat trucks hit the launch ramp dead even, and Jurassic Attack gets bobbed up right there in the middle of the cars, crossing the finish line first. She will move on to round number two. The MTA officials are down there now to roll Jurassic Attack back on all four tires. Hopefully the truck hasn't hurt too bad, and she's able to come back for round number two. And there you see some pretty heavy body damage to the Jurassic Attack machine. The crew's going to be thrashing. Well, coming up next year in round number one, Medusa draws up against the Gravedigger. Chantel Bailey, the MTA Legends champion, also a one-time Thunder champion, draws up against Stephen Hardware and the Gravedigger out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Ford and Chevrolet as we go green. Down the straight stretch, up and over the cars, and Medusa puts Gravedigger on the trailer. That Gravedigger team is not having any luck this month. Up next here in round number one, Johnny Retlaw, the revenge champion. He drove Blue Thunder to victory just a couple of weeks ago. He draws up against Keith Cromwell and Carolina Crusher at a Wadesboro, North Carolina. Two Chevrolets throwing it down. Down the straight stretch, up and over the cars, and Carolina Crusher will beat out Michigan Ice Monster. Next up here in round number one, the rookie, Matt Cheever and Gravedigger the legend. He draws up against Chris Dodd and the Bigfoot Ford. Fun fact, Bigfoot has not won out here on the MTA circuit at all. Gravedigger, Bigfoot as we go green. Down the straight, they're looking even up and over the cars and Gravedigger the legend will put Bigfoot on the trailer. Well, now we get set to close out round number one, the five-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, Bradley Graham in maximum destruction, draws up against Chris Baloop and Stinger Unleashed, who won the February season opener. He wants that flag back. He's got to go through Max D as we go green. They're even up and over the cars, and I think Stinger Unleashed got Max D in the shutdown area. But what a piece of driving by Bradley Graham and Max D. You see him cross the finish line. Stinger definitely had him by half a tire. Look at Max D rock up right here. He just throttled on out of it. But Stinger Unleashed moves on to round number two. Well, now we're going to take you down to the pits here on Thursday Night Thunder and give you an update on Jurassic Attack. The crew's thrashing on the truck. They had that rollover in round number one. They tore up a little bit of equipment, and they did some pretty heavy body damage. The MTA officials are down there also making sure that truck is 100% ready to come back. Also, an update on Team Gravedigger. The crew's thrashing on that truck. They've got it all torn down in the pit area. They're trying to figure out what is going on with the Gravedigger machine. They can't seem to diagnose it right, and the truck is all over the track. They're looking to make a comeback to close out the February season. 
We're now to move on to round number two, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be Brandon Jager and Zombie drawn up against Chad Legit in Hot Wheels. Boat trucks look great in round number one. Put down some bad, fast passes. Zombie's had the flag before. He's looking to do it again as we go green. Down the straight, Hot Wheels has a huge lead up and over the cars, and he smokes Zombie moving on to the semifinals. Well, up next here in round two, the wild man Ryan Johnson and Taz draws up against Ashley Albee and Jurassic Attack. Boat trucks had hard rollovers. Taz last week, Jurassic Attack this week. Stage now as we get set for green. Down the straight stretch, they're looking even. Up and over the cars, and Jurassic Attack keeps it under control. She moves on to the semifinals. Up next here in round number two, Keith Cromwell out of Wadesboro, North Carolina, brings that 1972 Chevrolet to the start line. The Carolina Crusher draws up against Chantel Bailey and the Medusa Ford. The classic battle, Ford and Chevrolet down the straight, up and over the cars, and a hard hit for Carolina Crusher, and Medusa will move on to the semis. Now to close out round number two, Matt Cheever brings Grave to the legend to the start line, but he draws up against Chris Baluk and Stinger Unleashed, who won the February season opener in the snow. Boat trucks are staged as we go green. Down the straight, they're looking even up and over the cars, and what a race across the finish line. We don't know who's got the win. We're going back to an MTA replay up and over right here through no man's land, and Stinger Unleashed by half a tire beats out Grave Digger the legend. Well now, we're moving on to the semifinals, but first, we're gonna take a look at some quad wars. No, I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that to you guys. Moving on to the semifinals here on Thursday Night Thunder. Jurassic Attack, driven by Ashley Obi, draws up against Chad Legit in the Hot Wheels machine. He would want nothing more than to put that Hot Wheels forward in the winner circle, but he draws up against a tough competitor. Ashley Obi and Jurassic Attack, as we go green, Jurassic Attack with a lead up and over the cars and Hot Wheels come back on her. He moves on to the final. Well now to close out semi-final action, Chantel Bailey and Medusa draws up against Chris Ballou and Stinger Unleashed. He is staged at the starting line, wants to make himself a two-time champion, but it's gotta go through Medusa. Down the straight stretch, Medusa holds the lead up and over the cars and it looked like Stinger Unleashed will outrun Medusa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we all come to see, the finals here on Thunder. But first, we're going to take you down to the track for some maximum stunts. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the Max D stunt truck has joined us here again on Thursday Night Thunder. This time, he's gonna try to jump over a stack of cars. Will he make it or will he not? We're gonna find out next. Max D is staged at the starting line. He wants to hear you fans get wild up. The louder you get, the wilder he's gonna get. Can he do it as he goes down the straight stretch? Up and over and he falls on top of the cars and Max D has turned it over. He tried to throttle it out, but he could not get enough height and clear the stack of cars. We're gonna go back to an MTA replay right here in slow motion, going up over the jump. He just barely clipped the cars with a hard roll over to the truck. And the MTA officials are down there now. They're checking on the driver, making sure he is okay. All the safety equipment coming into play here, but he just came up short on that stack of cars. There you see the MTA officials down there. They're gonna roll that Max D stunt truck back over. What a wild performance out here by the Max D team here tonight. They definitely tore up some equipment but it's all for the MTA fans and for everyone who supports Thursday Night Thunder every single week. And thank you so much for allowing us to come into your TVs at home and watching us on your cell phones, whatever you may be watching us on. We appreciate you. There you see the Max D truck getting towed off of the track. Some heavy damage done, but they're going to rebuild it and come back for some more maximum stunts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we all come to see. The finals here on Thursday Night Thunder. Chad Legit brings the Hot Wheels forward at a Paxton, Illinois to the starting line. He would want nothing more than to claim his very first checkered flag victory right here tonight on Thursday Night Thunder. But he draws up against Chris Bielek and Stinger Unleashed, who won that checkered flag in the February season opener. It's Hot Wheels, Stinger Unleashed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Down the straight stretch, they're looking even up and over the cars, and Stinger Unleashed rolls it over in the shutdown area. Hot Wheels was trying to chase him down. Here's the MTA replay up and over the car. Stinger passed him in the air and rolled it over in the shutdown area. 
He takes the win here tonight. Congratulations to Chris Bielog and Stinger Unleashed for being a two-time Thunder champion. Well, now we're going to take a current look at the point standings. Stinger Unleashed holds a strong lead with 45. Max D trailing him at 33. Bigfoot holding the gate closed at just 16 points. Standing tall up in victory lane. I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name. Yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place. Now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face. Always giving the crowd what they need. Now they're wearing my shirts front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms is what it's all about. Signing autographs until the lights out. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Thursday Night Thunder. Be sure to check out our other videos linked right here on our channel. As always, be sure to crush that subscribe button and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week.